Welcome to another edition of D45 Tech Talks. I'm your host and instructional technology coach, Matt Granger. This episode will be using Smart Response, the clickers or Chromebooks, and how to add questions to a notebook file. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the sound that you're hearing and the lips moving are not in sync. That's because uh, when I recorded it, I didn't have the correct microphone selected. So see, problems happen to the best of us. Uh, Don't worry, the whole thing's not like this. So adding questions to a notebook file. You could download a notebook file from somewhere. You could um, create your own. But you may want to insert questions. Now with Smart Notebook 14, which we have, everybody has access to Smart Response, with or without the clickers. And We talked about that in the previous episode. So you can be either using clickers or any device. If you have a set of iPads, if you have access to the Chromebooks. So don't worry about whether you have the physical set of clickers or not just start looking at how you could start using smart response so how do you add questions that's what this episode is about so let's watch a video here about how to insert questions into a notebook file so let's say that we got this file we downloaded it from somewhere or we created it doesn't matter but we have a file here we've got some content this is looking at sentence fragments versus complete sentences we've done this content we've talked about this page blah 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 we want to now go and assess whether the students have this click on the green plus to add a page it may also be up in your toolbar but I've changed my toolbar so it's not there I have a blank page I could put a smart response question on here so how could I do that well, right now I'm looking at three different ways the first would be from the response menu in notebook and then insert question Another way would be in the toolbar in Notebook, the Smart Response button. And then now I have two choices. The first one is to start a class, which we're not doing right now, or start the question. The next is to insert a question. The top one, insert question, is the one we're going to use. The instant questions we'll talk about in another video. So insert question, notice we get the same box that we got when we did it from the response menu. The third way is the response tab, and it may be on the left for you depending on where your toolbar is. And then question. And then here is also the instant questions we'll look at later. So any of the three is going to give us the same options here so what kind of question would we want this to be Uh, since we're doing sentence fragments here maybe we just want to have a yes no or a true false we'll put a sentence and then ask is this a fragment yes no true false Uh, it could be even a multiple answer for this one right where you put several and the students have to select all that are fragments right but let's just stick with a simple yes no here so I select yes no next so this is now the question this is what's going to show up you don't need to worry about these right now you could put in education standards you can tag your questions which is a good thing to do because one of your choices is to tag them with common core standards so you could find your grade level ELA open up the selection 
and it would you know help if you knew which one you were looking for you find it so if you already know the standard and you can get in there quickly and easily it's a lot easier to find you can add others uh, again it wasn't just common core you also had blooms marzanos depth of knowledge other so however you want but then you're able to if they are if you do use the common core you're actually able to pull up those reports and search by standard and see the students that you know whatever that passing grade that you put in students that passed it students that didn't and that can cross multiple assessments not just the one in this file so any that are tagged with this particular standard you'd be able to pull them up through multiple assessments uh, for this question though now we're going to click next select the correct answer if there is one if it's just an opinion question you'd select that so was this a sentence fragment no it wasn't you can either finish or insert another question you may want to put a couple of them so insert another question we'll do another yes no but you could also change so let's change let's make it a multiple answer for this one so you put in the text that will appear as the question or in this case the directions and now we can add delete if we don't want if we only wanted four we can on the E click on it and then minus so click next which are the fragments select and let's say that we're done with those now anytime you have two or more questions if you want them to show up in your teacher tools you have to add a title page if you're just using these questions as a formative assessment in this lesson you may not want to collect that data into the teacher tools if you're tagging the questions and you do want to collect the data so you have the students and you use several questions tagged with that over time and you want to be able to pull that data to show which students get it which don't then you're going to want to group them so we'll just click yes here we have to give it a title and a type which really doesn't matter this is just how they're gonna show up in the teacher tools so the title will be the name of the assessment in teacher tools so we could call this sentence fragments quiz again you know doesn't necessarily matter it doesn't really change anything subject and topic if you want it added that page at the very beginning of the file you could leave it there it doesn't matter or you could put it here right in front of the questions so as you're going through the content then you come here you know oh, okay this is where we have some questions now that may be a good visual cue to get your clickers ready get the Chromebooks whatever the students are going to use get them ready get them signed in uh, so notice that we don't actually have directions here so I could just click and ask I can rearrange it on the page so that's how you add questions you would add these questions to files that you're creating ahead of time files that you are finding online and you want to add some formative assessment in there to see before you go on okay do they get the content so you kind of get an idea where the students are before you go on to the next bit of content in the file so now you know how to insert questions pre-made questions into a notebook file
Again, it can be one that you download and you want to add pages and questions to it. Uh, it can be one that you have created. In the next video, we'll look at how to do and how to use the instant questions, which are great for formative assessment, those questions that come up along the way that you didn't anticipate to check for student understanding. I hope this was helpful. If you need any assistance or have any questions about this, contact me, M. Granger, at d45.org. I hope this was helpful. Look forward to hearing from you and getting this going in your classroom.